Buckle up, folks. In this jaw-dropping video, we're diving deep into the dark and scandalous world of the casting couch. Get ready to hear 10 shocking stories that will make your jaw hit the floor and leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about the entertainment industry. From outrageous demands to unbelievable favors, these victims are breaking their silence and sharing their unbelievable experiences. From scandalous encounters to unbelievable auditions gone wrong, these stories will leave you both entertained and horrified. Grab some popcorn and prepare for a roller coaster ride through Hollywood's dirtiest secrets. Hold on to your chairs, folks, because this section is about to take a scandalous turn. We're diving into the world of Lisa Rinna and her jaw-dropping experience during an audition for a popular TV show. Now imagine this. The talented actress finds herself in an uncomfortable situation where she's asked to bend over a chair in a producer's office. And no, it wasn't some bizarre yoga audition gone wrong. It was allegedly for a quickie. Talk about an audition script that went way off script. Uh, but fear not, dear readers, for Rena stood her ground and didn't let anyone compromise her values. She lost out on the role, but sometimes you have to make tough choices and protect your integrity. Kudos to Lisa Rinna for saying no thanks to bending over backward, literally for the sake of fame. Well, 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 it seems like Steven Seagal was quite the charmer during his casting sessions. I mean, who needs a legitimate audition process when you can just order someone to strip, right? Smooth move, Mr. Seagal. Apparently, Jenny McCarthy had the honor of being invited to take a seat on his couch, red flag alert, and was greeted with the classy question, so, you were Playmate of the Year? Because nothing screams professionalism like bringing up someone's past endeavors in adult entertainment during a film audition. But it doesn't stop there. After flattering Jenny with his keen observation skills, then he took it upon himself to demand that she remove her dress. Seriously? Who does this guy think he is? Thankfully, Jenny had some quick-witted response up her sleeve and told him to rent her Playboy video. Classic burn. And let's not forget the tears that followed as she swiftly made her exit from his office. And just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, he had the audacity to warn her not to tell anyone about the incident. Ah yes, because intimidating someone into silence is definitely the ethical thing to do after pulling such a classy move. Kudos to Jenny for speaking out about this absurd and disrespectful behavior. Ah. The world of celebrity memoirs, where shocking and scandalous anecdotes await us at every page turn. In her riveting 2005 New York Times best-selling autobiography, A Lotus Grows in the Mud, Goldie Hawn takes us back to a peculiar encounter with the infamous cartoonist Al Cap. Yes, the man behind the cheeky Lil Abner. Picture this. Goldie arrives at Cap's New York City apartment for an audition. A normal enough scenario, right? But things quickly veer into unexpected territory. Donning a silky dressing gown, Cap makes his grand entrance after excusing himself momentarily. Now, we've all heard of strange auditions in showbiz, but this one takes the cake. As Goldie nervously performs her audition piece, Cap's requests take a questionable turn. He asks to see her legs, nothing too unusual for an audition involving physicality or dance, perhaps. But then he raises the stakes. Lift your dress higher, he implores innocently, or so it seemed. He then asks her to take a seat beside him on his couch. Reluctantly complying, imagine young Goldie's shock when she saw that Cap had taken wardrobe choices to a whole new level. He had parted his robe to reveal everything. Han swiftly shut down his advances and made it clear that this wasn't the kind of job opportunity she was looking for. And kudos to her for standing up against such behavior. Now that's what I call an audition gone awry. While we can't help but cringe at this bizarre encounter, remember Mr. Cap, it's always important to keep your robes closed and your auditions professional. Ah, the glamorous world of Hollywood and its juicy stories. In this section, we delve into the jaw-dropping encounter between Teresa Russell and the notorious film producer Sam Spiegel. Picture this, Teresa starring alongside the legendary Robert De Niro in the 1976 movie The Last Tycoon is confronted with a proposition. Spiegel, being both bold and brazen, tells her that if she refuses to have a whirlwind romance with him, her career will crumble like a poorly baked souffle. Now hold on to your seats because Teresa defiantly says no thanks. She bravely stands up for herself and declares that if it meant sacrificing her career, so be it. Talk about girl power. But wait for it. Miraculously, she still lands the role anyway. 
It's as if Hollywood waved its magic wand and said, no way, we're not letting talent go to waste just because of some scandalous ultimatum. A toast to brave souls like Teresa who refuse to let anyone dictate their destiny or dirty their morals. Well, well, Susan Sarandon certainly knows how to throw a punchline even when talking about uncomfortable situations. When asked if she had ever faced any casting couch situations, she didn't hold back and gave a response that left everyone amused. She said, it was not successful for either of us. I just went into a room and a guy practically threw me on the desk. It was my early days in New York and it was really disgusting. It wasn't like I gave it a second thought. It was so badly done. You have to admire her ability to find humor even in the darkest moments. It just goes to show that even in Hollywood, not every screenplay has a happy ending. Charlize Theron shared her own casting couch experience. It took a rather peculiar turn. Apparently, she found herself in an unorthodox audition that involved going to someone's house on a Saturday night. And what made it even weirder? The guy was wearing Hugh Hefner pajamas. Now, I don't know about you, but when I think of an audition, I imagine a formal setting with serious professionals discussing art and talent. But Charlize, being new to the business, thought, my God, this acting stuff is very relaxed. Theron quickly realized what was going on and shut it down without hesitation. Not going to happen. Got the wrong girl, buddy. She must have said with a fierce dose of I am woman, hear me roar. Kudos to Charlize for standing up for herself and sending that misguided soul back to casting couch 101. It just goes to show that even in Hollywood, where dreams are made and sometimes crushed, there are people who won't compromise their integrity for a role. Ah, uh, the glamorous world of Hollywood, where even the most esteemed actors have tales of scandalous encounters. Helen Mirren, known for her talent and grace, didn't hold back when it came to exposing some unpleasant truths about the industry. In a bold move, Mirren unveiled her experience with director Michael Winner and his not-so-subtle casting couch tactics. Apparently, he had the audacity to ask her to showcase more of her body during an audition. Now hold on a second, Mr. Winner. Mirren was not having any of it. The ever-talented Mirren's response? She was mortified and incredibly angry, and rightfully so. She saw right through the superficiality that some directors tried to impose on actresses, treating them like mere pieces of meat? No way. Mirren refused to be a victim of such insulting and sexist behavior. It's refreshing to see someone like Helen Mirren using her platform to shed light on an issue that has plagued the entertainment industry for far too long. We can all agree that no actress, or anyone for that matter, should be treated as just a physical object. Kudos to Helen Mirren for standing up against sexism with grace and poise. She is undoubtedly an icon both on and off the screen, proving that talent should always overshadow superficial demands. Let's hope this marks another step towards a more inclusive and respectful industry. Well, it seems like Rose McGowan is not holding back when it comes to calling out the shady side of Hollywood. She boldly added her name to the long list of actors who have spoken out against casting couches and the dark underbelly of power in Tinseltown. But she didn't stop there. Oh no, she took to Twitter to make her thoughts crystal clear. In response to a hashtag about why women don't report incidents, McGowan unleashed her frustration with a fiery tweet. According to her, a criminal attorney once told her that she would never win a case because she had done a sex scene in a film. Talk about unfair judgment. It's like saying if you've ever played Sherlock Holmes on screen, you can't solve real crimes. And let's not forget McGowan's scathing critique of Hollywood and the media. She called out the industry for treating certain things as an open secret, while simultaneously shaming those who dare to speak up. It's high time for some honesty in this world, as McGowan aptly put it. Kudos to her for using her platform to demand change and shine a light on these issues that often go overlooked or swept under the red carpet. Ah, the glamorous world of Hollywood where dreams come true and casting couch stories apparently come out of nowhere like a plot twist in a bad rom-com. Megan Fox, a talented actress who has graced our screens with her beauty and badassery, opens up about the not-so-glamorous side of Tinseltown. Imagine meeting one of those Hollywood legends you've admired for years, your heart racing with excitement like a character in an action-packed blockbuster. You think to yourself, this person actually wants to have a conversation with me. But alas, reality hits harder than the hardest punchline in a comedy. That's not what they want at all. 
It's heartbreaking to hear that so many actresses have experienced the dark side of fame. The casting couch scandalously lingers in the shadows, waiting for its moment to pounce on unsuspecting starlets. It seems like even Hollywood legends can't escape its clutches. Ah, the scandalous world of Hollywood auditions. Back in the swinging 60s, Joan Collins was on a mission to conquer Tinseltown. She had her eye on the prestigious role of Cleopatra and was ready to do whatever it took to secure it. Or so she thought. During her audition, things took a surprising turn. The head of the studio apparently decided to take matters into his own hands. And I mean that quite literally. He made an indecent proposal, asking Joan if she was willing to go the extra mile to secure the part. But Joan, being the feisty lady she is, had other plans in mind. With a sassy smile and quick wit, she retorted with a simple yes. The studio head probably thought he had her wrapped around his little finger. However, our leading lady wasn't one to compromise her integrity or put up with such nonsense. Instead of playing by his rules and getting cozy with this Hollywood big shot, Joan chose self-respect and walked right out that door. Bravo. And who ended up snagging that iconic role? None other than Elizabeth Taylor herself. Talk about karma biting someone in their casting couch. So remember, folks, talent and determination can get you far in showbiz, while staying true to yourself will always be an Oscar-worthy performance. Ah, the convicted Harvey Weinstein and his infamous casting couch antics. It seems like no one was safe from his slimy advances, not even the talented Mylene class. Can you imagine being propositioned with a sex contract during a film festival lunch? Talk about an appetite killer. But bless Mylene's soul. She didn't take Weinstein's nonsense lying down. Well, technically, she was sitting down at Cannes in 2010 when he approached her. But you get the idea. She immediately declined the offer and dropped a perfectly timed F-bomb. It just goes to show that even in the glitz and glamour of the entertainment industry, there are some downright creepy characters lurking behind closed doors. Thankfully, we have strong-willed individuals like Mylene, who aren't afraid to stand up for themselves and put these lecherous predators in their place. You go, girl. Ah, the tangled web of Hollywood history. It seems that Marilyn Monroe, the iconic silver screen siren, had quite the encounter with Harry Cohn, one of the co-founders and presidents of Columbia Pictures Corporation. But alas, it didn't end on a happy note. According to accounts, when Marilyn rejected Mr. Cohn's advances, smart move, Marilyn, he flew into a fiery rage. He allegedly gave her an ultimatum saying, this is your last chance. Well, in true Monroe fashion, she replied by elegantly strutting out of that toxic situation. But it didn't end there. When Monroe's contract came up for renewal later on, guess what happened? Yep, you guessed it. Old Harry fired her. Talk about holding a grudge. Marilyn would pen a famous article titled, Wolves I Have Known, published in the January 1953 edition of Motion Picture and Television Magazine. Marilyn peeled back the curtain and let us in on her experiences. She revealed the different types of men she had encountered. Those smooth talkers who would stop at nothing to get what they wanted. So next time you find yourself lost in Marilyn Monroe trivia, remember that she wasn't just a stunning beauty. She was also a keen observer of human nature. And if you ever come across any wolves yourself, take a page out of Marilyn's book and stay one step ahead. <laughs>